Hey guys again everyone, welcome to Coming Up. My name is Lewis, also known as Griner, and this show is all about taking a look at future content that's on its way, including things such as leaks and rumours. If you enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also comment down below. Cheers guys! In this edition, we're going to be taking a look at the latest champion to join the league, Tam Kench, the River King. It's worth noting, as always, this is a PB, so things are unfinished and subject to change, including particles and sound effects. For much more details, be sure to check out turretdive.net, the link will be in the description. Also, be sure to share your thoughts on the new champion down in the comment section below. Let's get into this, and I hope you all enjoy. Tam is primarily a support champion with great utility all round, and not least of all, being able to swallow enemy or ally champions for either amazing synergy potential or protection, but can also teleport to another position on the map with the ability to take a teammate with him. You'll find there are plenty of combos you can use with his abilities to suit your own situations and requirements. His passive acquired taste is stacked with auto attacks and damaging abilities. Upon three stacks you gain the use of your E on enemies and your Q becomes more powerful. The indicator easily lets you know how many stacks you have applied. Tam's Q tongue lash very briefly roots you while you launch a skill shot that stops if it hits an enemy target damaging and slowing them. If you are at maximum stacks on the enemy you stun them instead of slowing them for up to 1.5 seconds with a damage range of 800 and a cooldown of 6 before any CDR, this ability is great for setting up your AD carry for some major trades in lane or for roaming to other lanes for ganks. His W Devour is exactly that. Tam swallows the target, placing them in a stasis for a short duration. You can use this on allied champions to protect them. It can also be used on monsters, enemy minions and enemy champions if they have 3 stacks of acquired taste. Their vision will be cut to your immediate vicinity. If you reactivate this with monsters or minions, it spits them out, dealing damage if they hit a target. While carrying an ally, you gain a movement speed buff of up to 50%. While carrying enemy champions, however, you are slowed by 95, so be careful in which situation you use this. Thick Skin, Tam's E, has both a passive and an active. The passive stores all the damage you take, displaying it as grey health. If you move away from combat over the next few seconds, you will be healed up to 44% of the grey health. Actively, you convert it into a shield that decays over the next few seconds. There are pros and cons to using either. If you wish to immediately exit lane or you are in a situation where you feel you might die, it is always best to activate the shield as you duck for cover. If you are, however, attempting to sustain in lane, you can try to trade and then back off repeatedly to gain the upper hand. Your ultimate, Abyssal Voyage, passively gives you bonus damage on your auto attacks and damaging abilities. If you activate it, it channels for up to 15 seconds. Once an ally has climbed in or you activate it to leave solo after a second delay, you teleport to the targeted location. If you take damage while you're channeling, the ability is cancelled and you are put on a cooldown reduction. With a range a little larger than Pantheon's ultimate, this cannot be underestimated in terms of positioning. Whether it be teleporting back to lane with your AD carry or helping your jungler get a much needed objective or gank, just be sure you're in the clear when you activate it. That's it for his abilities, now let's move on to his taunt, laugh, joke and dance, as well as his death and recall animations. Enjoy! The baseness of your appetite repulses me. Child, you're a couple cows short of a steak. Your mind is as clear as mud. <laughs> so that's it for this episode guys i hope you enjoyed watching and if you did be sure to thumbs up the video and don't forget to comment down below on what you thought of the new champion you can also check out my channel the link will be in the description have a great day everyone and i'll see you in the next episode